What's going on guys? John Alder here from tkinter.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to check the number of files in a directory with Kinter and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the number of files in a directory. So you see, we got this little app with a button. I can click here, bring up a file dialog, and we can pick a directory, click select folder. It says the number of files in that directory, 20,962. Wow. Number of directories, 1,995. We try this again. Uh, let's just grab the images directory. We got 14 files and no directories in that directory. So this is very useful for lots of different things. And that's what we're going to look at in this video. But before we get started with that, I want to say a huge shout out to all the new members that joined over the weekend with the Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale over at tkintry.com. A ton of you guys signed up and I'm happy to see that. Very quickly, I wanted to just let you know that I've gone ahead and extended the Cyber Monday sale till Friday. So if you head over to tkintry.com, Scroll down here, click on have coupon code. You can type in Cyber Monday, all one word, click apply, and boom, $120 gets taken off membership. So instead of $149, you just pay $29. And of course, you get access to all the Kinter courses and all the future courses at no extra charge. That's a one time fee. Take advantage of that until Friday if you're interested. After that, it's going to go back to the full price. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Get Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in the series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So we've got a file. I'm just calling it checker.py and our basic Kinter starter code that we've always got. So first off, we need a label. I'm just going to call this my underscore label. And this is going to be a label. We want to put it in root. We want the text to equal something like number of files, something like that. And for good measure, let's give this a font of... Helvetica with a size of like 28, make it nice and big. And that's my underscore label dot pack. Give this a pad Y of like 50 to really push it down the screen. Now we need a button. I'm just going to call it my button. And this is going to be a button. We want to put it in root. We want the text to say something like check number of files, whatever. And let's give this a command of checker. And we don't have this function yet, but we'll create it in just a second. And let's my underscore button dot pack put this button on the screen. So let's come up here and let's define our checker function. For now, we just want to pass. Let's go ahead and save this and run it just to make sure this is looking okay. So I'm in my ctkinter.com directory and let's run python checker.py. And when we do, we get this basic little app with a button. Doesn't do anything at the moment. Okay, so now we want to determine how many files are in any given directory. And we want a file dialog box to do that. That'll let us pick which directory we want to check. So let's come up here and let's from tkinter, we want to import file dialog. And we've used this thing lots of times. So we also want to import the OS library. So, so OS comes with Python, stands for operating system, and it allows us to do operating system type things in our app. So checking how many files are in a directory. That's a very operating system type of thing. So that's what we're going to use. So come down here and now let's create a variable. And I'm just going to call this input path. I don't know. And we want to use a file dialog. And in the past, we've used ask open file name and ask save as file name. Now we want to use ask directory. And this will allow us to just what it sounds like, ask which directory we want to use and it will slap it in this input path. Now, if we want to see exactly what this is returning, we could print input path and go ahead and save this and run it and see. Let's come back over here, click this button. Okay, I'm in my tkinter.com forward slash images directory. We want to select this folder. When we close this, we see it returns C, tkinter.com images, right? So just the path of that directory. Now we can use that with the OS library to do things, right? So let's go ahead and start to do that. So what we're going to do is kind of grab the directory and iterate through it, counting all the different files. So we need some counters for that. So uh, let's create counters. And I'm going to create two of these because we want to determine both the number of files and the number of directories and keep track of those. So we need two counters. I'm going to call this file underscore count. And let's set that equal to zero right off the bat. And let's call this dir underscore count, short for directory, and also set that equal to zero. So here, let's say choose directory. So now we want to loop and count files. So to do this, we're going to use something called os.walk. And os.walk will walk through the directory grabbing information, right? So os.walk returns three things. It returns the root path, it returns the directories, and it returns the files. So three things. So we need to iterate through three things, right? So let's create a for loop. Let's go for, and I'm going to call this root. 
folders and files. Those are the three things that we're going to iterate through. In, we want os.walk, and then we pass in this input path. So it will walk through whatever directory we have selected in our file dialog box right here. So, okay, there we go. So now if we do this, now this will return just an object, right? So we need to iterate through the object and count the number of files, the number of directories, all that good stuff. So let's count files. And to do that, we need another for loop embedded in this for loop. So let's go for file in files. And we're here looping through this thing, right? What we want to do is increment our counter. So file underscore count plus equals one, right? And that's it. So for now, let's just leave it like that. When we're done iterating through that, let's update our label. So this is my underscore label dot config. And we want to set the text equal to, if we come down here, this is what it is already. So let's grab this and let's create an F string, paste this in there. And then inside of here, output our final file count. Okay, that looks good. Let's go ahead and save this and run it, see if that worked. So let's run python checker.py. And again, we're going to stay in our tkinter.com forward slash images directory. Let's select that folder. And we can see the number of files in that directory is 14. Looks good. So let's go ahead and check that just to make sure. So let's cd into our images directory. We ls, here's all the images. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There we go. So you'll notice if I open up a file explorer, and let's go to our ctkinter.com directory. And inside of here, let's create another directory. So let's go new folder and let's go things. And I'm just gonna copy one of these guys and paste it in. So now if we run this guy again, let's go backwards and let's run Python checker.py. Remember it was 14 before and we're in our tkinter images directory, select this folder. Now it says 15 because what this will do is You'll notice it will sort of be recursive. It will keep going into further directories. So in our images directory, we have this other directory called things. It has an image. So this one will be counted in the total of this directory. It's going to keep recursing through until it finds everything. So just sort of keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and delete that. We don't really need it. Okay. So that's the number of files. We can also check the number of directories if we want. Let's come up here and Let's count durs and same thing, right? We're just gonna go for dir in durs. And this looks like a keyword because it's a different color. So let's call this um, dir one in durs. We want our dir underscore count to plus equal one, right? So then down here, we can update our label. Let's uh, create a new line here and let's say, now let's change this from check number of files to just number of files. There we go. And I'll say number of durs, and it's going to be our dir count. There we go. That looks good. Let's save this and run it. Check number of files, images, zero directories. If we, we shouldn't have deleted that dummy directory. Let's go back here and create another one just to test this. Images, let's go new, folder, things. Let's copy a thing, put it in there. All right, so let's close this, run it again. Now when we click this in our images directory, 15 files, one directory. Very cool. I don't know why you would want to count the number of directories, but if you do, that's how you do it. It's a very quick and easy way to check the number of files in any given directory. Lots of different reasons why you might want to use that and very easy with Kinter and Python. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out tkinter.com where you can use coupon code CYBERMONDAY till Friday to get $120 off membership. It's access to all my Kinter courses and all my future courses for one low price, not a monthly price, not a yearly price, one-time fee, $29. Take advantage of that while you still can, and uh, pretty cool. So my name is John Elder from tkinter.com, and I'll see you in the next video.